glorify him. Exalt him. We thank you. We return all the glory to you. We thank you, mighty Father. We exalt you. We lift you on high. We bless your name. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We bless you. We glorify your name. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. For all you have done, for Hallelujah. We are grateful. Oh. Testimonies, we thank you. Take all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. I have dominion and I take dominion. Congratulations. Before you take your seat, today is our covenant day of vengeance. In science, especially physics, there's what they call catalyst. If you like, call them boosters. They are agents of quick reaction that make things to happen fast. They are like fertilizer. They are like women drinking water when they are going for pregnancy scan so that they can see what is happening inside clearly. Amen. So when they do the scan, they didn't say anything. They say, are you sure you took water before you came? They say, I drank. They say, drink more water. Drink more water. Catalysts are agents of quick reaction. It's a law of physical science that all things are at a state of rest until relevant force is applied. Today is our covenant day of vengeance. Vengeance must be invoked. Vengeance must be invoked. We steer up vengeance. Vengeance must be stirred up. What you don't want, you don't watch. Mark 11, Master, the fig tree which thou caused yesterday has withered. What you don't want, you don't watch. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Psalm 89 verse 10, Open thou wide thy mouth and I will feel it. What you don't want, you don't watch. I said in the first service, God is a causer. God causes. He told Abraham in Genesis 12, whosoever you cause, whosoever causes you, I will cause. 
And whosoever blesses you, I will bless. Jesus causes. Mark chapter 11, the fig tree, which thou causes yesterday, as we that. Amen. And finally, every child of God is expected to cause what you don't want. What you don't want. God told Abraham, whosoever caused you, you can't be on cause with God and be caused by men. Whosoever causes you, I will cause. And this morning, the Bible said in Psalm 68 verse 1, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that ate him flee before him. So would like us to lift our voice today. Lord, arise on my behalf. Let all that hate me flee. Let all my enemies scatter. Lift your voice as you talk to God on this covenant day of vengeance. Arise, O oh Lord. Let enemy be scattered. Let all that hate me flee. 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 Ratapa lege bredus. In Kotopalaga, Bradia. Rakata Paliga Bradu. In Jesus' mighty name, lift your hands to heaven. This week, according to Psalm 68, verse 1, he said, Let God arise and all his enemies be scattered. Let that I ate flee before his face. I decree this week, God will arise for you. Yeah. All your enemy will scatter. Yeah. All your enemy will flee. Yeah. All your haters will go down. Yeah. God of vengeance will judge your enemies. Yeah. Whatsoever is your blessing that the enemy is standing against, this week God will destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whosoever say you will not be happy, this week sadness become their portion. Whatsoever you desire in 2019, that you are yet to see till October, I decree this week God will settle that case. This week your desire shall be granted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every human obstacles and barrier standing against your advancement. This week they shall be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wave your hands to heaven as you appreciate him. Give him thanks. Thank you. Hagbarai Shuda. Nebiti Jesus Green Job. Hagbarai Shuda. Kosio. Kosio. Hagbarai Shuda. Nebiti Jesus Green Job. Hagbarai Shuda. Kosio. Kosio. Hagbarai Shuda. Nebiti Jesus Green Job.
In Jesus' mighty name. Whatsoever is the power that the enemy trusts in, that is making the enemy to be so boastful. That power is destroyed today. That power expires today. The Lord that delivered the poor from he that is stronger than him. Rain vengeance upon the wicked today. Amen. You are seeing smoke without fire. Every invisible hand of the enemy over your life amputated today. Rakaro pole God is zub. Brades can tarash she loco ratapa lega brades ezia. All the Egyptians that refused to turn back from the Israelites, they end their journey in the Red Sea. I decree every enemy that has pursued you till now be consumed in the mighty name of Jesus. When I cry, the Lord, will, my enemy will turn back. As you cry in prayer today, every enemy known or unknown, they will turn back in the mighty name of Jesus. And that lady said in her testimony, Immediately as you step into the ark, God said to me, your menstrual flow that has stopped flowing for a long time, don't you want it to be restored? And on Tuesday, my menstrual flow began. I decree whatsoever is not flowing in your life that's expected to be flowing after this service of vengeance begin to flow in the name of Jesus. Your finances begin to flow in the name of Jesus. Your businesses begin to flow and overflow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I said, one year of enjoyment overshadowed 20 years of suffering. Do this and see what God will do in 21 days. God was in a hurry. 21 days, too much. He did it within 24 hours. After this covenant day of vengeance, God of 24 hours will visit you. In the mighty name of Jesus. That this month you will dance without music. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Please be seated. Congratulations. I have dominion. And I take dominion. Amen. Engaging the power of praise for supernatural turn around, part two. That has been our series of teaching in all our Sundays and we began last Sunday. This month, 
God still works wonders through praise. And that's why we are engaging the power of praise for supernatural turn around. Said in Habakkuk chapter 3, although the fig tree may not blows on verse 17 of Habakkuk chapter 3, Neither shall there be fruit in the vine, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the field yield no meat. The folk shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no hard in the still. He said, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. Yet, those days children say, Still yet. Amen. Still, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And as a result of my rejoicing in the Lord my God, verse 19 becomes so practical in my life. That God, as a result, will be my strength and he will make my feet like in feet and make me to walk upon my eye places. Rejoicing in the Lord is one sure way to walk upon your eye places. Rejoicing in the Lord. Rejoicing in the Lord. Engaging the power of praise for supernatural turnaround, part 2B. And what a joy, today is our covenant day of vengeance, and is our family communion service. It's not out of place to keep re-emphasizing it. That praise is what to do when you or when you and I don't know what else to do. When we don't know what else to do, praise is what is expected of us. So paraventure, when you are praising God and people ask, why are you praising God? Tell them, because I don't know what to do next. I don't know what to do again. I don't know what to do again. So the Bible said, and my pastor said, when I don't know what next to do, I should praise God. One of my daughters sent me message and I told her just praise God he said how should I praise God should I play the music or I should sing with my mouth I said if you don't know what to sing play music and sing along the following day she sent another testimony that God has done it when we don't know what to do God knows what to do and the only way to engage the God that knows what to do is by praising him God always knows what to do. Our ability as human is limited, but God has unlimited ability. God has unlimited ability. When you don't know what to do, you praise God. In the first service I said, God takes over our battle. Through praise. You don't have all the power. God has all the power. When you praise him, it takes over your battle. It takes over your battle through praise. And look at what the Bible said in Psalm 33, verse 1 to 3. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. 
Praise the Lord with harp, sing unto him with sceptre and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. So when we are praising God, we are playing skillfully. That is why I dance anyhow. Look at verse 1 again. Say praise is comely. That comely simply means praise is attractive. Or if you like, if you want to say it psychedelically, you say praise is tantalizing. Praise is tantalizing. You know tantalizer? Something you can't reject. Something attractive. Something appealing. Praise is tantalizing unto God. Praise. Praise. Praise is inviting. So praise excites God. God is just excited. When you are praising him. Praise is comely. God will never turn down your praise. You can pray amiss, but you can't praise amiss. There is nobody you give what they like and they won't smile. When you see people with stone face, they say, that is how my face looks like. It's not true. Everybody can laugh. I've laughed in my life before that people ask me, why are you laughing? And I'm using laughter to tell them why I'm laughing. That you can't just talk, you just keep laughing. You just keep laughing. God takes over when you praise him. God is interested in our praise. And you don't need to know how to sing to praise God. Forget about maybe your voice is tenor, soprano, or bass, or treble. Is it treble or treble they call it? Or trouble. Forget. You don't, even if your voice is not on the key, just sing. Hello. You can sing to God anyhow. Just sing. Don't say my voice is not good. Don't just sing. You are not singing to win an award. You are singing unto God. We are not in talent aunt. Hello? We are not in talent aunt. We are hunting for God. So it is God you are singing for. Who told you that the person that has melodious voice, his praise is more acceptable than mine? Are you the one marking it? So don't tell me somebody is spoiling the song. If all of us is singing, you don't know who is spoiling the song. When you say somebody is spoiling the song, it simply means you are not singing. Because if you are singing, you can't hear another person. It simply means you are not singing. So everybody sing. Baba, hey, Baba, we there for heaven now. Hey, we there praise you now. Hey, we there praise you, Baba. So sing it anyhow, any voice. I made up my mind. I made up my mind. I made up my mind to praise the Lord. I made up my mind. I made up my mind. I made up my mind to pray. Anyhow. Just praise God anyhow. When you praise him, it takes over your battle. You can ask Paul and Silas. 
in Acts chapter 16, verse 25. Paul and Silas, they prayed, they sang, the Holy Ghost came down. God will rescue Paul and Silas through praise. Through praise, he rescued Paul and Silas. Anywhere there is praise, God comes. God comes. You can't put a cube of sugar on the floor and say, why did ants gather? Anywhere there is cube of sugar, ant must come. And at the same time, somebody can carry pollution or excreta and say, why is fly following me? There is something that attracts something. You carry shit, fly follow you. You carry sugar, hand follow you. Amen. So there is something that attracts something. God is attracted by praise. And can I tell you this truth? When you are praising God, God is feeling good and the enemy is feeling worse. I told them in the first service, do you know if you are singing in your compound, all your haters, they will be having unnecessary stomach pain because they are just unhappy. Why is he singing? <laughs> in Why is he singing? Everybody they sing into the sink. So when you are singing, enemy is in trouble. God will rescue Paul and Silas through praise. He will rescue you today. And God gave us the opportunity as believers to execute judgment upon our enemies through praise. Psalm 149, verse 3 to 9. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise unto him with a tremble and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. Let the high praise of God be in their mouths <clears throat> and a two-edged sword in their hands to do what? To execute vengeance upon the hidden and punishment upon the people. I don't know how you feel today. If you don't want us to cause enemies today, then you can start going now and come next Sunday. Next Sunday is our covenant of open door. Because I told them in the first service, God causes. He told Abraham, whosoever calls you, I will cause. Jesus calls. Mark 11, the fig tree that you caused yesterday has with that. So as a child of God, you are expected to also rain causes upon your enemy. God will punish your enemy. <laughs> Today is a judgmental day. Whosoever say it won't be well with you, it will not be well with them. Amen. To execute judgment and vengeance upon the hidden. So when we are praising God, God takes over our battle. Did you see what praise did in Joshua chapter 6 verse 20? That through praise, barrier within the children of Israel and promised land came down. Jericho fell like a pack of cards. Jericho fell. Jericho fell. Through praise, every barrier fell. Through praise, we execute vengeance and judgment upon our haters, upon our enemy. So shall I be saved from my enemies. 
the Lord reigneth. Blessed be the Lord, leather rock of my salvation, be exalted. Now, as we are trying to round up, I would like you to have this clear understanding that it is our redemptive right to invoke vengeance on every satanic assault against our destiny. It's our redemptive right. Until you are hungry with your situation, your situation can't change. Please don't make mistake this month too, because they say befriend your neighbor. They didn't say befriend your enemy. Befriend your neighbor. And if your enemy is your neighbor, look for another person to befriend. Hello? If that neighbor is an enemy, look for another person to befriend. Yes, we serve a merciful God. But our God also is a brutal God. God said there is no peace for the wicked because God is angry with the wicked every day. Every day, God is angry with the wicked. And the essence of vengeance is to put an end to the wickedness of the wicked. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 11. To put an end to the wickedness of the wicked. That's the essence of vengeance. Because sentence against evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the art of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. To do evil. Psalm 7 verse 9. So that's the essence of judgment. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the jaws, for the righteous God try the heart and the wings. And that is why I prophesy over your life today that if what you are passing through, the hand of the enemy is in it, that hand will be amputated. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Is our redemptive right. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you is not God. Thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Luke 21, 15. For I have given you a mouth and a wisdom that no adversity will be able to gainsay or resist. So we invoke vengeance through prayers. What you don't want, you don't watch. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. We invoke vengeance through praise. Through praise. That woman keep crying. In Luke 18, 1, Jesus said, Men ought to pray always and not to faint. There's a judge that doesn't fear man or God. And that woman keep crying, Avenge me of my adversities. Avenge me of my adversary. And Jesus said, will God, verse 7, will God not avenge his own elect that cried unto him day and night? God will surely avenge. Though he bear for long, but he will avenge, verse 8. God will avenge his own that cried unto him day and night. That was why God came down in Egypt. He said, we avenge them speedily. God told Moses in Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. That 
I have seen the affliction of my people. I have heard their cry. I have seen the sorrow. I have seen the affliction. I have seen what the Egyptians have been doing unto them. They are cried by the reason of their cry has come up to me. Now go and deliver. Don't just fold your hands and say, God knows what I'm going through. God as well can also assume that you are enjoying what you are going through. No matter how busy a nursing mother is, when she hears the cry of her child, every other thing is on hold, suspended. My child needs attention. So until we begin to cry to God, in prayer, I shared a testimony of a lady that after graduation she was trusting God for a job. Four years, no job. Then she took it upon herself to pray and fast. She slept and dreamt that they were cooking her CV and credential in the coven. She prayed, God, do something. Bring it out. Do something. And she slept and dreamt angels put his hand in the cooking pot and brought her credentials out and handed it over to her. Same day she got four job. Same day. Same day she got four job. Now you don't need a prophet or a pastor or a smooth sayer to tell you that the suffering of that woman was orchestrated from the pit of hell. How can you give somebody a program to do for seven days and within 24 hours the oil company where the man applied for a job about seven, eight months ago, they called him to resume immediately. Immediately. Whatsoever poses as a barrier, roadblock against your advancement, today it shall be cleared. Yeah. I've seen things in my life where having a program never the same again. No, my father must hear this. 2017, and a lady that was supposed to go, get married, the suitor lives in the U.S., promised to come back home to perform all the traditional rites. As soon as the man landed the country, the lady called, and the man picked the car and said, who is this? Who do you want to talk to? Do I know you have we met before? Don't call this line again. Just landing home, the blowing breeze. Every satanic breeze <laughs> Today it becomes of no effect. Yeah. We are right in the church. Power past power. Hagbarai shuda. Nibiti Jesus ben joba. Hagbarai shuda. Kosi o otiwo. Hagbara kibati. Hagbara oluwa. Hagbara kibati. Sokale wa shetemi. We are right in the church. The man that said, don't call this line again, started calling. <laughs> I don't clear. I don't clear. I don't clear. She said, call back, I'm in church. He said, I'm at your house, I'm waiting. Anytime you come, you meet me here. Wheresoever your blessing lies, whosoever, whatsoever, will not allow you to enter into that change of level. Today, judgment upon them in the name of Jesus. Your next level shall become a reality after this service. Vengeance makes the wicked to fear God. Your enemy will fear God though. You know, when I came here on Sunday evening, God told me three things. He said, number one, I will advertise myself in the life of somebody. Number two, I will give somebody a testimony that will make his enemy to want to become his friend. And number three, he said, you came from a rented apartment. By this time, October next year, you are coming from your own house. <laughs> John spoke expressly. But you know, when God speaks, some enemy gang up and say, let's stop it from coming to pass. But no cobwebs can stop the elephant from moving. 
no cobwebs can stop elephant from moving. Can a train be coming and you tell a car, move, train is coming, and the car says, I have applied brake. Your brake is inconsequential. It will carry you with your brake. Or a trailer is coming. They say, clear, trailer, they come. They say, I don't match brake. Match brake for trailer. Don't you know that on highway, the fear of that Gote trailer is the beginning of wisdom? <laughs> <coughs> Self-apply break. When Dan Gote trailer collide with a man, they will leave the trailer there because they have plenty. They will forget you. Forget the trailer. Just, just go. Do you know when you beat a child and the child says, I'm not going to agree, I'm not going to agree. You've not beat the child. You are just pampering the child. When you truly beat a child, what did I do to you now? What did I do? What did I do? The child will be asking, what have I done? But I don't go agree. It's because the beating is not beating. When a child sees serious beating, the child will gen to. Gen to more than dodo. Gen to. By the reason of what will happen to your enemy today, you will live your life as if the enemy does not exist. Yeah. So it's our redemptive right. It's our redemptive right as children of God to invoke God's vengeance on every source of satanic assault against our destiny. Against our destiny. And when the enemy see the hand of God, they will fear God. Exodus 8.19 The magician told Pharaoh, this is the finger of God. This is the finger of God. This is the finger of God. So in closing this morning, say with me, this is my year of dominion. Whatsoever is resisting my dominion shall be destroyed Whatsoever is resisting God's plan for my glorious destiny shall be destroyed. Whatsoever does not want the will of God concerning my life in this year 2019 to come to pass shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet with me. Genesis chapter 26, before we pray, verse 12 to 14. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. And the man was great and went forward. And grow until he became very great. Verse 14. For he had possession of flock and possession of herds and great store of servants and the Philistine envied him. Blessing to the point that the enemy noticed it and they could not touch him. I would like you to lift your voice unto heaven today. Lord, blessing after the order of Isaac that cannot be resisted, that cannot be ruined, that cannot be destroyed. Today, my portion. This is the first phase of the prayer. Can you lift your voice unto heaven? Blessing after the order of Isaac. Blessing after the order of Isaac that cannot be resisted, that cannot be stopped, my portion, my portion, my portion, my portion, my portion, my portion, my portion. in the name of Jesus.
in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name second prayer Lord just the way you destroy Pharaoh and the entire army of Egypt by your vengeance Lord destroy and disgrace all enemies known and unknown that has vowed that this year your plan and purpose for my life will not come to pass. Lord, destroy them and disgrace them. Lift your voice unto heaven. Destroy, disgrace, devour every enemy resisting, standing against in the name of Jesus. All enemy resisting, standing against in the name of Jesus let your fire come down 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 in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus mighty name just the way Elijah called down fire let the invisible fire of God consume all your enemies let the hand of the enemy be amputated in the name of Jesus. The blood came down in Egypt. Vengeance came down. As you partake of this communion, let vengeance come down from above. Whosoever have said in their heart or verbally that over their dead body, my Father, my God, as they have said it, let it come to pass for them in the name of Jesus. Every traces of near success syndrome and failure at the verge of breakthrough. Today it has come to an end in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever is fighting and challenging your dominion, I decree today the God of vengeance destroy in the name of Jesus. Just the way the Lord sent ambushment in 2 Chronicles 20. As we begin to celebrate and jubilate in His presence, I decree, let God send ambushment against all your haters in the name of Jesus. Say, so let God arise and His enemy be scattered. And let they that hate Him flee before Him. I decree God arise this morning for you and all your haters flee in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Before we partake of the communion and go into our session of high praise, if you are here this morning, you want God intervention. I said in the first service, the difference between David and Saul is that David always acknowledge and admit is wrong. Why Saul? We always want to give excuses. David, you are wrong. I'm sorry. That's wisdom. Nobody argues with God and win. In case you are here this morning, you want to acknowledge your wrongdoing. Don't let the devil use anything against you. You want God to step into your life completely. Why don't you quickly come forward this morning as I pray with you. You want a new chapter. You want God to fight your battle. Just accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. That same song we did in the first service. I know a God who is merciful and kind. Thank you, Father. Quickly come forward. Let me pray with you now. God bless you. Quickly come forward. I'm the apple of his eyes. The thought that fills his eyes. Every morning. Yes, he loves me. He loves me. Patient till I came, running was his
faithful God. We have not come to any man, we have come unto you. From this moment today, let this precious life begin to enjoy your goodness in another strange dimension. In the mighty name of Jesus, forgive in the name of Jesus. Love covers multitude of errors and sin. Beam your love upon them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Please, can you repeat after me? Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. I'm not justifying myself. Let your mercy prevail. Forgive my sin. I believe in my heart that you died for me. You are the Lord of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Please, without wasting time, just go through that entrance. The pastor is waiting for you. I would like us to quickly come in. To bless the communion. Father, in the name of Jesus, by your blood you crush principalities, by your blood you reign vengeance in Egypt. You said from henceforth, let no one trouble us because we bear your our body the mark of Jesus. For it's a righteous thing with you to compare tribulation to anyone that troubles us. There is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. No man say it in and come to pass when the Lord commanded it not. Every evil satanic pronouncement, none and void. In the name of Jesus. We reign vengeance today upon the wicked. That the wickedness of the wicked comes to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus. And as we celebrate you this morning, we hand over our battle to you. Take over our battle, fight our battles in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrow, now I am free. I got me hallelujah, bro. I got me hallelujah, parallel. Because of Jesus, every day now shakara they do double double heavenly blessing now him but they receive ah yeah God your mercy is always the following ah yeah ah yeah God has given me victory.
Christ shall see your desire over all your enemies. The God that delivered Jehoshaphat that the entire Judah delivers you from whosoever is mightier than you. Isaiah said in Isaiah 6 1 that the year that King Uzziah died, he saw the Lord. Whosoever needs to die for you to see God dies today in the name of Jesus. Wave your hands to heaven as you appreciate him. Give him thanks. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name.